Hello, this is Kedulytics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are looking at how we can be able to run ordinal logistic regression analysis when we realize our proportional odds assumption is violated. So in our previous video, we look at how we can use this data platform to run the ordinal logistic regression, given that our proportional odds assumption is not violated. So in this video, you get to know how or what to do in Stata when your proportional odds assumption is violated. So first of all, let's check our proportional odds assumption with this model we are trying to build. And then if it violates the proportional odds assumption, then we will know what to do. So now our outcome variable of interest is to tab bin. And our predictor variables are what? Age, sex, marital status, and the flow pattern. So here we're trying to see if it violates. So right here we are having a p-value that is less than 0 0.05. And since it is less than 0 0.05, it means we have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis that it does not violate proportional odds assumption. So it means that this violates the proportional odds assumption. So once uh, the proportional odds assumption is violated, then it means that we can use the, the normal O-logics model, but then we have to fall on a particular kind of model, which we call the Go-logics 2. So we use the Go-logics 2. If you don't have it installed on your data system, you just want to type search, search GoLogit2. And once you do that search, you come and then install it. So you said you have a number of the packages here, so you can click on any of them and install. Each of them has a description of it. So you just look at what you want and then install. So generally, this is how you can be able to get it installed if you do not have it. Now, now let's see how we run that. So G, so do logic to outcome variable. CPU. And then, uh, so we're looking at each text my task status my dots my dots property my dots reports All right, so with this line of code, we can be able to run the model where we realize that uh, proportional odds assumption is violated. So we click on enter and we wait slowly for Stata to do its uh, mathematical stuff. And here we have our output. So this is the output that is generated by our code. So go logit to outcome variable and our predictor variables and then our VC reports. So generally, this is how you can be able to run an ordinal logistic regression analysis when you realize that your proportional odds assumption is violated. Now, perhaps you may want to read about this go logic 2. And so you can just type go logic 2 on Google. Stata, and then you have these documents that you can download. So it says Go Logic to a program for generalized logistic regression, partial proportional odds model for ordinal dependent variables. Richard Williams, latest revised May 12, 20, 2005. Now, this is the part we are interested in. So you see that a major strength of Go Logic 2 is that. It can also estimate two special cases 
of the generalized model, the proportional odds model, and the partial proportional odds model. Hence, Go Logic 2 can estimate models that are less restrictive than the proportional odds such as parallel lines model estimated by O logic, whose assumptions are often violated. So this highlights the point that we have to fall on the O logic too when we realize that our assumption or proportional odds assumption is violated. So generally, you can take your time and read through the document. And then you can make informed decisions or how you can be able to do your interpretations of the results. Until we meet again on our next one, this is Kedalytics. And it's a bye.